yeah so um i have this um 2012 2013 camry hybrid that has the check engine on with the check hybrid system on the red light is on it runs fine but it doesn't switch to hybrid so um i came down and i ran a scan and i'm finding this rare code here the code that is more important here is this um p0 b47 hybrid um, battery voltage sensor c circuit low it also has this other associating code p0 ac0 and the rest of them so i'm suspecting that um the battery voltage sensor is bad as the battery computer the battery smart unit whatever you want to call it is bad it can run for for miles and miles without, without shutting down but you would have this on um i'll try to clear the code now and see if it will go but it won't go since we've not even uh, fixed the fault so i'll try to clear the code now um you can see it's it's loading up to clear me to clear i want to try to clear it and see if it clears you can see that it doesn't clear because the diagnosis information has been cleared but you see still came back came back instantly is not going away so it's on permanent code now you can see come back on current code so i'm suspecting that the battery smart unit is bad so i'm going to be taking down the battery the battery to see how i can access the battery smart unit to see if there is any fault there and i'm going to carry you guys along on how we fix the fault the battery smart unit should be here in the trunk yeah battery smart unit should be here in the trunk i think around this area um this is where it should be this side here look at this place that we are looking at now that's where the battery smart unit be on the driver side here so i'm going to see if we can find a way to actually take out the battery smart unit without um without taking down the battery if that's possible you guys are going to find out if it's not possible we would have no option but to take down the battery um let me give you guys a glimpse of what the car look like this is what the car look like and, uh, this is what the car look like as you can see it's a note 13 camera so it can look like so it can run for hours and then soon shut down but you'll be running on full so you won't really be enjoying the benefits of the fact that you're driving an hybrid car so i'll carry you guys along on how i actually um fix the fault sorry i didn't carry you guys along um it's just easy i had to drop the seat from here when i dropped this one here i um I pulled on this small lever here to drop the other seat. Then um, I took out my negative terminal. I took out my negative terminal. After taking out negative terminal, I took off this shield that was being held in place by just two knots. Then I um, took out the service plug. Now I'll be using the service plug here to like, um, you know, like just insert, like look at this notch here. You insert it into this place and twist, like without twist it towards this direction, and this guy is gonna come out. You can see this is what you use to twist it towards the direction. You come out once this guy is out. Go ahead and start taking out the screws. You know, take out these screws. I'm trying to like get this guy loose. Little, little thing out of the way in order for us to access um, access the uh, um, battery voltage sensor which is right there that's what you're seeing behind there i want to see if i can take out the battery voltage sensor without actually taking down the battery seeing if i can take out as little as possible uh, let me go to inside the car So um, it's just me here and um, I've gone inside and I've taken out quite some bits, you know. So there's no room for me to like take out this plastic. And I think if I take out this back, there'll be more room for me to actually find a way to remove this shield here, you know. This is what I want to replace. This is the battery smart unit. 
um, battery voltage sensor this is what i want to replace here and um, i think this is what is faulty so um the trick is having to uh, your trick is having to take out this shield here without taking down the battery so that's what i want to do i've taken out this voltage sensors and um, the other um temperature sensor wire that's attached to this these are the uh, these are the actual voltage sensor wires and when you take out the when you take out the battery voltage sensor this 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 computer here you would have to like um you would have to like um pay attention to the just trying to get a view of this um you have to pay attention to the um wires if they are if they don't have any like corrosion or stuff you know or better so i'm just gonna rep go ahead and replace the voltage sensor so what i want to do now i want to like um i want to like um take out this fan here to see if there'll be room for me to take out this vent and um you know take out the eventually take out the battery voltage sensor i don't have some way to mount this so i'm gonna be skipping stopping the video so i've taken the fan out of the way and this um vent out of the way so um there are these retainers that are holding this shield in place but i don't think i want to take those um those retainers out i think i'm gonna just gently take out this boat here that that's that 10 boat right on that there that we're looking at now i'm gonna take it out and um take out this match in it and replace it and see um if the code will be cleared um that's it that's it guys i've taken out the battery smart unit this is a battery smart unit and um there's something that i got to observe here on this terminal i don't think my camera can see it quite clearly one of the terminal here is having this corrosion on it and uh there and here yeah, let me see i think i would have to look for a contact cleaner to clean it it's not quite clear but if you look at it, you see one side there this side here it's it's having corrosion on it and i think it might be the challenge we are facing and also if you look at these terminals here as well these terminals here i think i'm gonna come out into the light let's see how best okay let me turn on the flash okay here you go you can see that if you watch each of these terminal they are all the same height but there is this two here that is not with it, that is not the same height with the rest let me see if i can get a better shot like this watch it it's the last one here it's looking different looking like protruded you can see it's taller than the rest of it you can see um look at it's it's shooting up more than the rest of it even the one below too the same thing so I think this smart unit is bad. I'm going to open it up and we'll see what's inside, what's going on inside. Have a better view of it. Now I've opened it up and um, I can have a better view of what's going on here. You can see, look at this battery smart unit. You can see the down here. This is where the voltage sensor senses each voltage of the um, block. Look at, this is the circuit here. So I think there is a problem here where we have um, this um, this terminal corrosion down here. You can see you can see that um, each of the legs are okay. While the leg on this side here is bad. This side here, this side here, you can see it's bad. And um, if you look at if you look at this point here, I'm going to be um, getting another smart unit and um open it up for you guys to see the problem this this particular guy here is faulty and it's quite it's quite clear why we're having the code there's going to be high voltage arcing happening here high voltage arcing will be happening here and that's 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 why we're, we're having that code coming up so replacing this would fix the fault all right so this is another smart unit that i just got and i've already opened it up and um, this is the first time i'll be opening it up already lost it so you can watch um in comparison this is the new one that i just got actually a used one that i just got. you can see how the how the um how the voltage terminals are all straight and set compared to this one here <sighs> one more. okay compared to this one here 
You can see that this one is this one is protruding. This one is not straight. It's corroded and even contacting this other leg here. If you can see clearly, just watch. You can see it there. You see. Wow. Well, if you watch this one here, this one is all clean and set. You see right? So that's the problem. And um, I believe replacing this here would fix the code and will be good to go. I'll just have to find a way to clean um, clean the socket and it'll be fine. Yeah, so um, I've just quickly assembled everything. Um, I don't want to like, I don't like totally assemble everything. I'm going to be starting up the car now. Just, I tried just, I just plugged everything in. Everything's not properly fixed yet. I just plugged everything in. I want to like, um, check um, if um, that was a fix. So I'm going to be starting to start the car now. Run a scan on it. If it's, if the code doesn't come back, we're gonna go for a test drive. We're gonna go for a test drive and um, we're gonna go for a test drive and see if um, that's a fix for the car. So I'm gonna be starting by um, closing the door. Initially, if we just turn on the ignition, we'll get that check high resistance and check all. You can see. Let's see. Hold on. And um, um, even before I scan the car, I'm gonna try to start the car now. Ready, lights on. And um, you can see, I think that's a fix. You see, that's a fix. So I believe if we run the scan on the car now, there would be no code on it again. With this that I find it now. See the check light is gone, check hybrid system is gone, and I think uh, that's a that's a solution. That's how to fix that code there. Every code, that's that's how to fix it. And there's a fix, so just replacing the smart unit. Where's the smart unit? So this is it. So I think replacing this component here is the solution to your problem. Just replacing this component here. This is a, this is a 2012 stroke 13 car. And there's the battery voltage sensor, that's what it looks like. And that's a fix. Successful. So I'm gonna run a scan on it and we'll see what we have. So initially the car wouldn't switch to EV. Alright, now it's on EV. And now as you can see before before now it has this code on current code and another one on pending right now it's on permanent code and if um, you are familiar with how this code works you will know that <coughs> this permanent code there is a drive circle you need to go through for the car to clear the permanent code itself so right now it's not registering it as a current code or as an expecting code as it's true it's a permanent code which will be cleared by itself so i'm going to assemble the back now i'm confident that this is the fix i'm going to assemble the whole back and um, we'll go for a test drive and That'll be all. And that's the fix for this um, B P zero B four seven. This other one are just associating code. If you fix this one, you'll be fixing the rest automatically. Thanks for watching.